So welcome to our Wealthimize video, whereby you can make smart decisions in PPIG for FREE. So it's the beginning of year, it's time for us to do some thought planning, and I have Xiong Yo, my growth investing partner with me, okay, to actually share about his growth investment plan for 2024. So with that, Xiong Yo, take it away. Let's do a bit of recap on how the market has performed. S&P 500, new high as of last Friday, 2nd of February. If you can see this particular chart here, it has it's not the it is not close at the new high, but it has in the intraday trading, it has actually hit a new high, just shy of the five thousand mark. But based on this kind of trajectory, we can expect to see the S and P five hundred probably gonna gonna cross the five thousand mark in the next couple of days if it stays on this kind of trajectory. That's number one. Number two, the stock market being driven so high is, in my view, not. A very good news. Why? Because the market is driven to a near high base on only a handful of stocks, which one of the American Bank of America strategies, this gentleman called Michael Harnett, has coined Magnificent Seven. And these are all concentrated in technology sector. So you have the likes of NVIDIA, Tesla, Microsoft, okay, the typical uh, A-list kind of tech companies that you will be willing to or that many of us will be willing to invest in now these magnificent seven stocks are the ones that is responsible for driving the s p 500 and by and large the market to the new high which means uh while well, the stock market going to the new high is good i am a bit concerned that there is concentration risk here because the rest of the stock constituents of the broader stock market are not performing as well as this. So I would be also a bit cautious in light of this news kind of uh, ground. So my view of the, of the market in 2024 is it's still going to be bullish, but it's not going to be very strong or even kind of bull. In between, we're going to see some ups and downs, a little bit of retracements, a little bit of pullback here and there. But by and large, the bull case is still going to be stronger, which means we're still going to see the market going up. It, that's my view. And there are two big reasons underpinning it. Number one, we are likely going to see the Fed reducing its interest rates, ramp up its interest rates to 5.25%, which is one of the highest in the couple of decades we've seen. So I think the market is kind of screaming beta hard ready. Lah. So the Fed also got to listen to the market and probably pull back the rates a bit. Number two, economy is still strong. There's been a lot of talk you know, in 2022 about recession. What recession? What semi recession? We see nothing so far. Employment is still strong. Spending is still strong. All these are good news, but I always remind myself the universal truth is always with us. What goes up must come down, and what goes up very high probably can come crashing down. Uh, can have a very hard landing. So we must, or in my case, I must always remind myself and and our fellow investors that we must always be mindful that don't forget there's concentration risk. The market is driven by this Magnificent 7 stocks and the market has gone up so high. So be prepared for uh, you know any eventual, the possibility that the market could come down once in a while just to take a breather or correct itself. So in view of this, how will I invest? My focus is still on growth. I It doesn't mean that there's concentration risk in Magnificent 7 stocks. I will completely ditch them. I will avoid them like plague. No, I will still look at suitable junctures going, taking some positions in this Magnificent 7 stocks. And how would I do it? I will use my primary favorite instrument options. I will use options to enter into positions where, it, where I can, number one, get premiums or get cash flow number two if it puts me up in a good position to be able to buy the stock if it does drop if it does correct that's number one number two i will look for good quality but currently undervalued stocks for example we've seen that city group the fair value is actually at 72 dollars. so even if you buy in today at, if i buy in today at 55 i still am 
going to be able to enjoy a potential upside about 40 of a percent. So why not? So this stock is good quality, solid company, but undervalued. Another one is also my favorite, PayPal. So this is these are the two companies that you can be very sure that I will tell myself to enter some positions in. I will also look into investing into small cap, but high growth stocks. Small cap, so we are talking about companies that are like maybe between $250 million in market cap, between $250 million to maybe $2.5 billion. But these companies can have high growth potential in the future. Let's not forget the, the good quality stocks like your Microsoft, Apple, also started as small cap stocks long, long time ago and look at where they are. So these are, com these are companies that have strong potential to become the next Microsofts or the next Google of the future. And some of the magnificent seven stocks are like, for example, if you remember NVIDIA, run up by what, 12,000%, right? So even if you don't invest in the magnificent seven stock, it doesn't mean that you have to stay away from Semicon, for example. So for myself, I still like to, I still like the Semicon sector. So I will consider uh, this ACMR, uh, ACM Research, as one of my potential stocks to invest in into today to position myself for the future. Thank you. Thank you so much, Xiong Yeo. So looks like you are actually going to be cautious. Uh, but at the same time, uh, you do actually smell opportunities, uh, not the Magnificent 7, but you know, in general, there are actually still undervalued stocks being there. So am I right to summarize that? In US, there are 8,000 stocks listed in the stock market. Uh, so why focus on only the 7? Expand our horizon. There are so many good quality stocks out there. You know, surely we can find some gems among all this, uh, or, or, or the, the whole universe of stocks out there. So great. So with that, uh, thank you so much for watching. If you like uh, what we have shared, do click on the like, subscribe and share button so that more people can actually enjoy the content. And of course, uh, you will encourage us to do more of such videos. So with that, thank you so much.